Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new series on chemical species transport. The name of the module as per the Council Multiphysics is Transport of Diluted Species. In this particular section, we will be talking about the fundamentals of this TDS module. We will be talking about the applicability of this module in order to develop your particular research problem and then we will be covering the execution process. That means each and every details of console multiphysics nodes and other information so that you can apply your learning better to develop your research problem. So before moving on to today's topic, I would like to say that we have initiated a service where we help you develop your research problem. If you are interested to take this service, then you write to me in the email ID given in the description box and I will write back to you and I will offer you a customized course and this course will help you to develop your research problem. So today we will be only talking about the fundamentals. As I always say, if you are working with any particular physics in COMSOL, then initially we should be looking at the equation. So here is the equation. You can see there is an index i. So Whenever we see an index, that means it can solve for n number of such components. So, Ci is the concentration of a particular ith component and you can actually solve n number of components and I will be talking about it in details. So, now we would like to have, we, we, we would like to know about each an individual term. So, the first term you can see the time derivative of the concentration. So this is a transient term that means it will take care of the time dependent concentration variation. That means whenever you will be solving this particular differential equation then you will have information of concentration over a space and time. And the space is coming from this divergence derivative. This, this divergence term you can see the divergence of j where j is the flux. This flux is a vector and I will be talking more about this chemical flux or the species transport flux in, in the upcoming videos. But for the time being, uh, just to let you know, this flux is nothing but negative of gradient of concentration. So it is a kind, kind it, it is basically fixed first law and we are taking divergence of this flux term in the main equation that means the TDS equation transport of diluted species. In uh, if I just try to tell you the physical significance of the second term it basically stands for the diffusive transport whereas the other term that is u dot gradient of ci this indicates the transport of the species due to the convection. If there is any flow in the system and the flow is defined by this u vector, then it will convect away the species from one place to the other place and this particular term is taking care of that particular fact. So, in a layman language, if you have a flow in your system, then you have to opt for this term. Otherwise, what you can do, you can see there is uh, some options where you can just check in and check out. So, if I just check out then you see there is no term in relation to the velocity. So this way you can modify your equation and COMSOL is giving you the liberty to modify your equation. Now you can see there is another term that is migration under electric field. So what happens suppose you have an ionic species and you have applied an electric field across your channel. Suppose you are working in a micro channel you have a fluid which is ionic and you are applying an electric field across your channel. So your ions will be guided by the externally applied field and you are trying to develop, you are trying to model such kind of problem. In that case, you must have to take this particular migration under electric field term. But for this case, for the first video, I am not going into details. So I will just, I will just opt out from this option. Now there is another term which is mass transfer in porous media. So this also we will be not taking 
because uh, we are actually not solving any case where we have the porous media but whenever you put this then what will happen it will actually take some Darcy's law or something that will take care of the porosity and then it will solve your species transport equation but as of now we will be not taking those options so initially just to demonstrate I will be taking a geometry suppose we will take a simple geometry say rectangle and let us make the geometry in centimeter say I have a rectangle of say width 5 and height 1 centimeter yeah that's fine now uh, I forgot to talk about the species I so we can actually solve for n number of components but you have to define that n so where to define that n for that you have to go to this dependent variable if you expand this option you'll be getting this number of species option now by default it will be 1 but you can change this one say I change it to 2 so when I change it to 2 if you notice here now one concentration is being denoted by C and the other concentration is denoted by C2 that means we are solving for two species we are solving for C and C2 for our reference we can change this name suppose we name it C1 the other remains as C2 and thereby you can change the number of species if I just show you if I make it 4 there will be C1, C2, C3, C4 but I am not working with 4 species as of now I just need 2 species so I keep it 2 C1 and C2 now material suppose I have a material say I have water inside the channel say so I am putting uh, water this water should be liquid so let me look for water yeah this is water liquid this one we should choose this one and it is automatically selected in the solution space now I go to transport of diluted species I <coughs> I visualize a situation where we have a higher concentration of components say C1 and C2 at one end of the channel and there is a and this is being diffused through this channel and because of the diffusion this concentration will be increasing at the middle with respect to time and this particular situation we are solving for the time being so what I do I right click here and I can put an option suppose I put an option of flux say there is some concentration flux over here at the left end of the channel and this flux we can actually put for C1 and C2 because you have to tell it whether it, it is giving you a flux of C1 or C2 or both for the time being let us assume that C1 is here and it has a flux say say 1E minus 3 I am just giving uh, one for example and let us say another flux suppose there is another flux at the other end and for this one it is C2 and C2 is also coming with a flux 1E minus 3 so you visualize the situation you have a you have a problem where in the left hand side you have a flux for C1 or in the on, on the other hand in the right hand side you have flux for C2 now it is about the transport properties now what are the transport properties needed when you solve this equation if you look at the equation you see there are physical properties d in the system so d is coming from the diffusive term that means we need to define the term d now there are two species so for two species we have to define two I mean diffusivities for both the species so let us go and define if you don't define it automatically it will take a default value which is here 1e minus 9 
but say uh, we have a situation where d2 has a higher diffusivity say this is 5 e minus 9 and the c1 remains as 1 e minus 9 so we have defined our diffusivities flux for our system there is no convection so either we can opt out this option or we can keep this option and in the transport properties when it is asking for the velocity field we put it zero but if you have a situation where you have a velocity then in the drop down menu you will get one option for the velocity field and you can choose that option otherwise if you have known velocity field that you can put here so yeah we have defined most of the things now let us go for a mesh it's not a very bad meshing so what i do is i go to extra fine option uh, i'm not happy yet extremely fine this is perfect for the learning purpose now i go to study suppose i am solving it for one millisecond say 0 0.0 0 1 and intermediate step say triple not 1 now i click on compute it should start simulating let me see yeah yeah it's happening so it has happened actually and after one millisecond we don't see enough changes in terms of the concentration profile because this is not enough to transport because it is happening via diffusion so what we can do we can increase the time suppose now i want to solve it for 100 second and keep it one second as interval then again i compute so when we solve it for 100 second it will get enough time to transport via diffusion mode and we'll get a profile so if you see now at a higher time step you can see it has started diffusing if you just see here if you see at zero time this was like this as you keep on increasing so what we can do in order to understand the transport as the diffusion is very slow process this 5 cm distance is very high for this solution so what I can do is instead of centimeter I can make it micrometer then the length scale will change and then if we solve even solve it for 10 seconds we will get some profile so let me run the simulation and look at the problem again so we have changed the dimension from the centimeter to micrometer ah yeah you can see now you can see a detectable concentration profile like this so basically it has reached to an equilibrium state but if you look at zero the concentration would be this and as time progresses it be see if you look at this one the concentration is changing with respect to time because more and more flux is coming in and this is for the c1 if you plot for the c2 it will come from the other end because we have a flux of c2 on the right hand side yeah so you see for the c2 it is coming from here now in today's uh, today's video i will also talk about how to use this option ri this ri actually indicates the reaction term and if you right click on this transport of diluted species you will get a reaction term you can see here and i can actually put a reaction node here and say a reaction is happening at the middle and suppose for reaction what is happening uh, say some what I can say uh, some decomposition of C1 is happening for that what I define some K into C1 now I have to define what is K K is a reaction rate constant 
सपोज रिएक्शन रेट से आई लिमिट के एंड से आई पुट इट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन सेकेंड इनवर्स बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर यूनिट सेकेंड इनवर्स या नाउ इफ आई सिमुलेट इट इट विल एक्चुअली इनकॉर्पोरेट द इफेक्ट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो लेट मी सिमुलेट इट या इट्स रनिंग सो नाउ यू हैव इनकॉर्पोरेटेड द इफेक्ट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो सी वन वॉट इज हैपनिंग अ फ्लॉक्स ऑफ सी वन इज कमिंग एंड इट इज ऑल्सो रिएक्टिंग इन द मिडिल सो द प्रोफाइल इज नाउ डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट इट वॉज एट द वेरी बिगिनिंग नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू वी कैन एक्चुअली चेंज द रिएक्शन सपोज द इफ यू आर चेंजिंग द के द प्रोफाइल विल बी डिफरेंट I have made the K hundred times. Now again, if I run the simulation, so the profile will be little bit different. We'll actually solve more cases in the upcoming videos in this particular playlist. In that, in those videos, you'll be learning more. But in today's video, the intention was to show you how exactly we can use different options in this TDS species, and this will help you to develop your problem. So today I stop here and I'll be uploading more video in this series. If you are liking our videos then please subscribe to our channel also share our videos so that we get more motivation to upload videos. Thank you.